Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the replay system within the aisle. To access it from the main menu, select the replays, and the most recent replay will always be the top left. Select that and hit play. The replay will then begin to load up. When the replay loads up, you will always be spawned on the beach like so. This bar right here signifies that it is a 2 hour and 30 minute replay. If the rubric occurred in the middle of it, simply click on there in the middle where you think it might have been and then select the player icon here and it will take you into that area. In this case, we're going to be using a random player as an example. So we have snapped onto another random player, in which case you will be able to use your W, A, S, and D to move your camera forward, back, left, right. If you hit spacebar, it will raise your camera up into the sky and if you hit the crouch button, it will bring the camera down. If you hold left click, you will be able to pan your camera around in whichever direction you want. Now, to find a player's name, which we do require for reporting, you will simply use your camera to go up to the diner, hit play, and then pause. And the name will be visible at the bottom along with the Steam ID. Let's go try it on another dinosaur here. If we go up to this dinosaur and hit play and pause, the name changed as well as the Steam ID did. From the replay now, if you hit play, you'll be able to either speed up the replay using the plus and minus or slow it down as you see fit. You can also use the fast forward or rewind buttons over here as well. And it will speed it up or slow it down as you see fit. Now if I go up to a different player, it will also show the name and Steam ID and I can free roam around the area and find different players with different Steam IDs. The replay system will only cover the certain vicinity of where your dinosaur was at the time of the incident. So if I have a rubric up at Great Falls, it will not show me the dinosaurs near Twins or anywhere else in the map. It will only cover that certain area. The replay system is very useful as it does help you in determining rubric player names as well as their Steam ID, which a lot of servers do require in order to fill out the report properly. If you have any other questions, you can always ask one of the available admins or staff members in this, any given server, and they will be happy to assist you. Thanks.